Hey guys and welcome back to the CK3 Roman Reformation roleplay campaign. Now we're starting once again from the directly the end of the last episode and we have a little bit a little bit to do this episode. I have some plans. Well, first thing of course I'm going to do is we've got some money. We have got some research from the end of the last episode. So I'm going to invest into my lands. I think we really want to be focusing on money making and well at least investing into our lands. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to build some building build some duchy building and get the extra tax and why am i going for this rather than the tax officers because there's only two uh, holdings in this county and it makes sense to go for 0 0.8 rather than uh, split the percentage if i had like multiple like four or five in a, in a duchy then i'll be more inclined to do that now what we're going to do is we're going to go for blacksmiths because we get this spearman toughness we get the manitoba maintenance but the heavy which is well very much going to stack up on the spearman that's very much what our kind of whole culture is based around and that's giving us boss for that and it's anything else we can invest into no not yet anyway but what we're going to do is we can ransom off a fair few people can demand a payment yes please give me all your money thank you thank you and let's actually invest down in napoli get you up the some walls and towers let's increase our garrison increase our taxes that is what we're all about right now and let's go to prison let's mass ransom whoever we need come on that's up to six people from our dungeons, that is what I like to see. Now we have a court event here as well, what is this? Royal Labs, okay, the pageantry of court continues day after day from dawn to dusk. Our Dicino um, extemporizes on my greatness, splouting platitudes and phrases, okay. Duke Simeon joins in playing to the crowd. Okay, so I want to go and the organ gets stress. So very much, my apologies, yeah, that'll do, I'll have to do, and as an inspiration, and forge a crown, is very comfortable, but I can't afford it, so fair enough. Now, in terms of where I want to actually directly expand this episode, I have some plans, I kind of want to get Slavonia into the fold, so I'm going to start swaying you, so you can get that diplomatically. I also want to maybe expand up a bit in Serbia as well, as well, for going for Venezia proper. I'm going to press play, let's get in some things, and I just want to just talk a little bit more about my plans now why i really want to get so much money why do i really want that ransom um yeah sure i want to get money because i want to create a couple of types i want to create a couple of kings when create the kingdom of croatia which we can actually do we just need the money i want to get serbia which once i get this land up here i'll be able to do i want to create venezia of course which is the, the most serene republic and well of course when i get venezia and it is underneath me just so i can get the de jure title I can be the de jour liege and that's really what I want to do. Got anything I need to build out at Ooh, what do we need? Let's go for Levis is always nice, but so is the homestead. Let's get some homesteads in Abruzzi Abitzano. And let's hold court sure this is a roleplay campaign we should hold court. I have no money. So it's hopefully nothing costs too much. We'll see. My nephew Dirago Mia stands before me. Okay, me stands well finances have not been the healthiest. Ah Barony of, of Eversa. Ooh, you want it. I don't care, but it's not created. Yeah. Sure. Off a little bit more. Ooh. Let's see. Do I get 350? I don't. Ah, that's only prestige at the end of the day. And Volmil is within his rights. Ah. He is not above the law. Oh, these local squabbles. I really don't want to be bothered, but I just go for that one instead. Whatever. And there is something here, and acceptance. You already don't really like me, so let's just go. Let's just do a mediocre one. Just sit in the middle, don't to annoy both sides too much. There we go, we are fine now. Let's just press play for a little bit. Let's just have a look around the map, and as you can see, it's not looking great. As you can see, uh, Lothringe is in a civil war, Bavaria is in a civil war, Wessex is in a civil war, the Byzantines are in a civil war. But the thing that are gonna is kind of the scariest thing is the abbesses. Look at that, nearly 30,000 men, 1,500 Mubarazin, uh, lots of camel riders. And the scary thing about the Mubarazin is they counter the spearmen. So if we want to try and get a Sicily, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a massive effort to do that. But actually what I think we should do now is let's go in on, on Venezia. Let's try and end this pretty quickly. Let's just do it. Get in and out. It's cheeky little war in Venice. We'll raise all our troops here. Of course I'll probably give them to whoever, probably this whoever owns this land and I'll put it between friends. Drago, Yazbek, you don't like me, politely decline now, sure, 
or whatever, I don't really care. If I can get friends with random people who may want to join me diplomatically, that should be fine. Let's go to Venezia. I've had enough of trying to sway them and what have you and get them to peacefully join the Italian Empire. Sponsor person, Metalsmith. Crown. We do not have a crown already, so I think it makes sense. Yeah, we're the Emperor. Let's forge ourselves a concept. It's only 63 as well, and you could be quite good at it, so... Let's see how that goes. So I want 8,500 men and still going up, still going up. I do want to expand up here. Makva. Machva, however you say that. So I probably could split up my forces actually. Once we get this battle, yeah, we should be. I just want to get, make sure we won this battle. Because we should need the men to do it. It's going to be landing something like D Day, just medieval. There we go. Should be a nice little win up there. Now let's split in half and send you over to here. Oh no, I can't. I've just realised I can't even. Oh, I can't even um, declare wars when I have men raised, so I'm going to have to wait for that. I think it's going to be ransomed. Yeah, we'll just focus on that. And ooh, what is this? My beneficial any special to me? Empress Agnia. Hmm, you know, we're kind of short on prestige, but yeah, we're short on prestige. Let's take that decision. Let's start. Low counter control and capital. Let's boost that up a little bit. That's probably from the Viking, the Northman invasion slash raiding. But yeah, we're looking all right. We are looking all right. Now, in the, oh, I'm not high quality, sure, sure. Um, but in terms of the Abbasids and Sicily, we need to get Sicily to unite Italia. But we may need we we, we need a crusade or, or something. We may have to do an unholy alliance with the Byzantines, of course, when they stop killing each other in their various wars but look at that look at their economy look at their military strength we're, we're gonna have to hope for a succession because on succession yeah the realm will split a little bit but come on you're only 40 years old that's not gonna be for a while i don't know if we'll be able to do it within this emperor's lifetime but maybe maybe at some point in the future who knows and we should have venice done just now there we go eight days left there we go and that's 100%. We have the Grand City de Venezia under my control. I want to grant you the territory of Venezia. Let's grant you the title of... There we go. And I don't have any other titles, but I will probably make the Kingdom of Venice, or at least a Kingdom level title. And there we go. That is a, another really good city under our control. And I should boost up our own. And there we go. We're starting getting things constructed which should really boost our income as well which we are going to need ransom yep sure sure slavonia will you vassalize yeah let's see one ten we're getting there we're getting a gadeshi crown Ooh, what does it do prestige powerful vassal opinions good courtier and guest opinion and powerful council of tax contribution that is fantastic that will pay itself back so that has gone really well Let's equip that, the Gideshi crown, fantastic. Now we are a little bit low on trinkets, I will admit. But, you know, it could be worse, it could be much, much worse. We're looking good, we're looking good. Our Royal Court's not doing too badly. Um, yeah, Byzantine's massive debt and whatever. Let's just quick, quick walk in Machva. If a county, yeah, it's just one county. Let's do, we'll go, there are, shouldn't be any more Slavyansk and rulers left. No point trying to get you vassalizes you are a different religion so that would never never really work so let's just raise a little army here only a couple thousand will do it that is way too many already but let's just go smash them go on my marshal by Dolomeo di Ladredo is doing fantastic work ridding the enemies of Italia and should actually give us enough land to make de jure to Serbia which is what we love to see now Gonna absolutely plan a payment for Mariana Gideshi. Nah, you're alright. And to be fair, it might actually be worth splitting his army in half. Just so I can get both castle. Things done at once of generosity. Yeah, sure, you wanna pay me. Although, I mean, we're kind of out of the early reign, so I think we'll take the gold. And we are trying to make up a bit of a gold build, so absolutely not. Extort subjects, don't really want to do that. Republican ruler, we are going to have um, Venice under our rule, so it would be good to get that eventually, but men towns per maintenance is always a very good perk. Now, I haven't really done a, a dread um, build, but it's not the end of the world. Let's get this under my control. We've got Bailey and Napoli. This is all going to be boosting our... Let's see his face again. No, let's just go. Why not leave me in peace? Indeed, he's trying to 
sway me. Don't have any money just now. I'm going to be spending it quite a lot, but we need a lot of money. And yes, well, I don't know what he's doing. Probably going to siege somewhere. Whatever, don't care. Uh, I do want to get lower Bosnia and a Slavonia under my own control, but it's going to be tricky. It's going to be quite tricky, I think. But we need to maybe wait, wait until the war's over, reinforce a little bit. Siege one. Go smash them here. Hopefully that'll be the GG for the war. We are going to catch them. Yeah, Battle of Aruño. Should be, please be GG. 100%. There we go. We've got 100% anyway. Force demands. GG, boys. GG. Give that away to a random Italian culture. And there we go. We have enough to get Serbia now as well as Croatia. If we can create those two kingdoms. If we can create Croatia, we can probably get both of them. So we can probably get both of these vassalized. So I think we move to do that next. King Ennio has bent the knee. The king of Italy is coming to bend the knee. Fantastic. That is exactly what we need. Lovely. Now, let's just sit on our winnings for a little bit. We need 500 to get Croatia. That's fine. We're making 20 per tick. Most of that is from actual vassals. King Enio is only giving 1.4. It's pretty stinky, actually, that counts giving more than more than the Queen of Sardinia de Corsica. But it is what it is. Shame that you're going to be going to have a Carling King underneath us. That is not good. But, I mean, throughout Europe, look, oh, look at Aquitaine's and the Civil War. I think we're very much in the twilight of Carling rule. Everything is on fire. Everything is on fire. Now I've got King Werner of Bavaria, of course. They are not um, Carling anymore. We had a looks like we had a Princess Brunhilde who was had to abdicate, and then it's been the House of Campton Marsepen ever since. We're looking good. I just wish that Byzantines were a little bit stronger to actually challenge the Abbasids. Because this is stupid. We, we, we're not going to be able to... Just ah, the fact that they're able to get Sicily as well. They're able to get Sicily. Means that we can't unite Italy until we have dealt with that problem. Now let's get Duke Gero, the foolish of Savoy. We see him, he's powerful vassal. We need him to like us a little bit. And oh, Byzantine actually got a lot of land over here. I don't know if they always had that or what. Or I'm just being blind. But that's great, that's more levies potentially, but oh no, he's that's GG. This Basileus is not keeping the throne. It's only a two anymore, so you will keep the throne, but there. Uh, one more tick, and there we go, we can create the Kingdom of Croatia that's on the 16th of April, 1006. Create title, the Kingdom of Croatia, and that should mean, could I potentially, yeah, neighbours can be vassalized. Here we go, low feudal, yeah, whatever. And Slavonia, want to get in for normal, could even go high, no. There we go. Look at that. That is just easy mode. That's why I wanted to get our title so we can just get some nice, easy bits of land. Fantastic. Now, we also now have de jure claims on these Bavarian land, but they are very strong. Oh, we, how do we not have Casas Belli? Excuse me? Come on, what? That is de jure Bavaria? What? Is that the most border gore thing you've ever seen in your life? Ooh, debase the coinage, mint silver. Every county gets, yeah, let's get that development growth going, absolutely. But there we go, look at that, 24. Now, because we're the de jure liege of all of, well, most of this, we're going to be getting more. And my daughter Agnese is giving birth to his son, Salvatore, fantastic. Well, 9,400 men, Bavaria has just decided to explode. In a tyranny war, what's what a surprise! Looks like everyone but us is having tyranny problems. Ask head of faith for gold, yes, please. Let's get that money in, let's start investing that again into our lands, and then we can maybe look to. Yeah, I, for oh, I forgot he was um, without clothes, but let's look to invest into some of our lands again. Ooh, fell pastures, sure. Skirmish of toughness plus two percent. We do need to inve invest into some light. Footman soon. Let's get shadow ore mines, sure. We should have plenty of gold to go around in all of our counties. Capua, let's get you this caught up to level two. And Napoli, what do you want? Let's get you caught up as well. Fantastic. Now, all this money, we just. The stewardship lifestyle, the grind that we've been gone for so long is now going to finally pay off that we're going to be able to. Oh, what was that noise? I'm press a payment from you, sure. Take all of the money we can get, I think. Demand artifact, what do you want? 
Calabrian Warhammer. That is what I have. I'm going to decline that, thank you. I would like that myself. Now, I'm pretty surprised there hasn't been a Crusade yet. We are getting quite late into the game. I say quite late. We've been on this for a long time. Um, usually, in most games, I start on the earlier 867 start date. I don't have a Crusade probably about the mid 10th century and now we're well into the well we're into the 11th century we still haven't had anything i suppose the abbess is there 30 oh my goodness that's gonna be tricky that is probably gonna be the biggest challenge so far of this playthrough guess i want something to be sponsored an adventure a master by her peers nine six to go to africa okay sure you're just because you're a master and it could be really worth it but i really want to get this title of venezia now the papacy i don't know how we're going to get him because he's loaded but he doesn't have many as many men as us and because he's a king bishop we never want to get him we'll have to get a i don't really want a tapestry trinket let's go for the trinket so i've got many trinkets i caught a vent available let's have a look at this prophet in the halls repent today since empress agony john mccut a persistent attempts to convert everyone to a fo foreign cult i'll oh, come on Empress Agne, no, she can. I'm not in position now. I can tolerate this and more. Get a weak favor. Hopefully, we can just. Um, there we go. Demand conversion. Fantastic. That should hopefully stop all of that in its tracks. I'm on level 7 core. I'd probably get it up to level 8, but nah. I want to keep kind of keep my money for the moment. I want to get the money so we can create the title of Venezia. The kingdom, the Serene Doge, can be reinstated. Um, if I actually would do hold it myself, I might try and get its um, succession to change. Although I don't, because it may be a republic, it may not be that. And you want to pay me some money? Fantastic. I accept your generous gift, Count Cesare. The world is on fire. It really, really is. There have been massive wars up here. We're still, I mean, it's Catholic Sweden, but pagan Norway. What about Denmark? It's actually for Denmark's just on fire. Um, yeah, mix of everything. We still got Eng we've got Anglo-Saxon, England, and Wessex. Alba is doing all right. Ulster is Cumbrian for some reason. Aquitaine, is French, Carling, Bordeaux. Yeah, it's it's a mess. Everything is a mess, other than in our own lands as ourselves. Now there's a huge war down here. Whatever, whatever. I like my vassals want to fight amongst themselves. Let them. Kingdom of Venice, Crown of Counties. A gold, 500 gold, yeah, I'll get that. Is this your part of the Byzantine Empire? Not even. How is it not part of Italia? Oh, come on. The whole point of me getting that was to give me a this your Italia, but it's not. Also, go and create it. I will win your word. Aren't you? Yes, indeed, sure. Any other what to be done? Oh, whatever. Whatever. I can demand payments. You're gonna pay me, sure, yes, please. And can Aurelia de Rashka get everyone to just pay me so we can oh no my liege adventure katarzyna sends word the servant exclaims for 10 days and nights me and my party have been hiding the bandit lord Davo. set to blockade ah zero percent oh you're so stinky you're so stinky i don't want to pay i don't want to pay just ah 75 percent sneak so accessory drives off the bandits, fantastic. And be on a slightly higher quality, lovely. And we're losing stress as well. Oh, we managed to survive that. I can't believe this is de jure Bavaria. It's not actually any of our lands, but it looks like the Bavarian civil war has come to an end and it's not. We'll see how long King Ludbert of Bavaria goes survives for with his condition. We have got 500 gold now, so let's create the kingdom of Venice. There we go. It is kingdom. It is um, oh because I because I created it, I was able to make it so that. Let's grant you the title though, um, kingdom of Venice. Sure. Or do I just keep it for myself for now? I probably should do actually, just in case in the next character succession is a little bit messier. Flatter me, my lady Agatha von Lüder. She's single, I suppose. But no, we don't want any more sons, any more children. Actually, that reminds me, we need to get you learning languages. Can you learn languages? You can. Fantastic. Study target. Are you too old? Greek and... There you go. Learn Greek. That should be good in 
I think we try and get all our children to learn Greek, Italian, and probably, I mean, not be Italian anyway, and probably Serbo-Croatian. Maybe Arabic as well as we start to go into some of North Africa, or at least have to deal with the Abbasids. 30,000 men, though, that's, that is too scary. That is too scary. We can't do anything about that, can we? Ah, but now, where should we look? That's absurd. Oh, come on. My fear, my, my great lord, I bring news of possibility for an even greater adventure. Um, sure, we can afford it for now, but she better not be drinking in tavern. I better not be doing all this, just better be drinking. That will be annoying. She may have to face the consequence if she does that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and get you to find secrets at the court or the papal court. See if we can maybe sway him. Hold court. I can hold court. Yeah, sure. And I'll let's sway you as well. Now, I know you don't like us too much. But let's work on getting you a hook so potentially we can vassalize you that way. And let's hold court just to, you know, we are all things. We're a king, a shadow in the night. Representing the local and oh my composition is doing bad at stuff. Just cut it off. Yeah, whatever. A call to all. Come on, what is this? Um, Mallorca. I do not care about Mallorca. It is a beautiful day for one. No, please depart at once. I can help you. Please enjoy my hospitality. Yeah, I do. I don't care. I do not care. And what is this? A cumbersome gift. A chain bear. Ooh, yeah, let's get the grandeur and the dread fantastic yes yes is what i say to that yes my business here is done you know let's put the court grandeur up to full let's i know it costs a lot of money but we could do it with an emperor sure let's get it all up to full fantastic exotic food hot culture fashion endless servants of course of course we're looking good we are ours here on income a bit but we should get some better events and what is this my liege I've joined a camel train traverse in the width of this land. I send you a piece of jewelry. One of my fellow travelers grants me a most delicate necklace covered in ostrich bead shells. And sure, we need some artifacts. We need to. What does that do? Attraction opinion? Sure. I think this shows that we are. We are, we are looking all right. Actually, have we not got an antiquarian? We need an antiquarian. Come on, this is uh, embarrassing that we don't already have one. Sure. Prisoners, okay. We've got some prisoners. You're a good commander, actually. We'll try and recruit you. Pollen, you are stinky. And I don't know, I even have a clue how to say that. I don't suppose we can, uh, nope, we can't. Amazing. Your spine is zealot, so you're probably going to hate me and whatever I do. Let's just, I just demand conversion for you to go. Oh, I'm just getting weaker. You're too much of a danger to keep you at court, as you will hate me the whole time. We're at level 10 at court grandeur. Fantastic. What's your step now? Farewell, I've got a new patriarch and my I've gained a rival. He's in he's what? I've just released him and he oh my goodness. Oh, great, fantastic. Anything else we're looking to do? Okay, no, but I think maybe where can I or oh, I can get I probably should try and get here. It shouldn't take too long. Five years. Ah ah well. It is what it is. Now, Bavaria is very weak. Oh, yeah. Very weak. It's still pretty strong, actually. That's quite annoying. Very normally strong. Germany is pretty weak. Um, the Pudinges in another war. A Northman army. That's a... Uh, oh, they're losing, actually. That's pretty big. Um, there haven't been any battles, though. So, we'll see what happens. And, no. Keep going to find secrets. I, we, need the po we need the Pope to... Have, we need some dirt on the Pope. To get him to swear fealty to us. Even though that may never happen. Now, quartermaster officer in Napoli. Do I go for the kingdom? I'll probably save it for the kingdom of Sicily. Let's just do that. Command improved, and then we can maybe try and see if we get a papacy under our thumb. Now, let's get you studying language. Saxon, no thank you. Let's go Croatian, yeah. Serbo Croatian. Get you learning that. So, all of the. the basically, just all the vassals. And there are no secrets. That is so annoying. Ah, uh, oh no, you are doing it. Wait, did I just learn a secret, actually? Secrets known to me. Um, who's that? Ooh, court poet is a... Ooh. 
That's a bit stinky, but you know, it's all, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We need I've, I've prefer something on the on the Pope itself. To be honest, he's not that he's not that strong, but he's not that weak either. And oh my goodness, my courtier Bartolomeo de Ladreto, my marshal, my brilliant strategist, the educator of many a, a son and heir, one-legged, but he's strong, infirm. He died, but wow, what a character he'll be. Very much missed. Now who should I do? We're gonna ah, oh, just so stinky though. Just so stinky. Ah, oh, no one's good. No one's good. Nobody's good. Let's just fine. No one's really good. Let's just get the best person for the job. And hopefully you can make all my boy people into blade master. Actually, what we should do is get you on patronage. We don't need you on stewardship. So let's just keep stacking that learning. Walls in the dry lands and. Oh, 74% and fantastic. There we go. Stewardship lifestyle. Let's get um, detailed ledges. Although it looks like we're keeping it. Ah, it's useful to know. My rival. Give me something on the Pope himself, man. Come on. Come on. I don't think the guardian for Enzo. My plate Enzo. Of course, because the dude died. Ah, that's a shame. There's no. It's no good, you might, you might have to do a stupid intellectual. We just need a good learning lifestyle because that is the tree that you are pursuing. So let's do that. And hopefully, you won't give them too many st stinky things. And it's not an easy language indeed. So let's uh, Gilio Gadeshi. This is my grandson. Ooh. Countess of Dunholm. Don't know about that. Um, I probably want to keep you at court. And any good traits at all? No. Or comely, sure. Get those into the family. All these core events, all this just kind of almost paperwork that I'm just doing, just making sure my daughter can birth another son. Byzantine, there's, there's a new Basileos and it's still on fire. Oh my goodness. No. If there's anything, we shall find it indeed. Please, find it. We need something, and we've actually got the gold to declare war. I mean, not declare war, to create the kingdom of Serbia. So let's create that. And now we will be getting the de jure amount of just everything. Good de jure amount of uh, gold and levies from our Serbian nobles. Now I probably should give you create the duchy here in Raška. That does Raška. It is. We'll create that and just. To streamline this a little bit, I will give it to you. Although you may be ill, so you may die soon, but that's not my problem. Grand titles, there we go. We've got many kingdoms, we're going to get a lot of prestige, a lot of renown. 5.1762 a month. Look at that, Emperor Felice. We're doing really well, we're doing really well in terms of that. We're probably going to be getting... Have we actually got all of the... Uh, no, we haven't quite got all the customs won yet, but we're going to get there. We'll get there eventually. But I'm an R as repair you. I can't even. 150 to repair. Are you joking me? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. How are you getting on? 43. No problem. No problem. Could get some claims down here in Bavaria. Ah, oh, there's nothing. He's got nothing. He's actually a, a pious pope. Imagine that. Continue coinage though, let's just keep getting development growth. Duke Mitomir has gone to become Bosnian, sure. My son has learnt a language, now let's even get you learning another language, it's always useful to have you learn. There we go. Sa I don't really want Saxon, French could be good Polish, let's go for French. So we can have a look at our, speak to our northern neighbour, the Rhinelander. Oh, the Rhinelander! Um, in Lothringia has managed to really, really do well. Oh, they're so strong. Could be worth trying to potentially get someone from Burgundy and try and enforce that. Can't even get you to court. What would we need to get you to court? Only, only on 70. Oh, 70 is too much, no. We're not going to get that, and we're not going to be able to sway the Pope, are we? As head of faith for God. See, if we keep doing that, we won't be able to sway him, but then are we going to be able to sway him anyway? And you'll... Excess. He's shame of course, is a buzz with the talk of the next banquet. Okay. Getting caught. Marco. Who's Marco? No one. 
gained six grandeur. I can't wait yet. We ever be satisfied. Let's get the court grandeur is all I'm bothered about. Because a good court will mean people want to come here, people want to stay here, people want to do things here. Aquitaine has just got big, man. Aquitaine is scary big. Well, welcome. Let's go to this feast indeed. And the Duchess Adalgisa of Beuli is my oh, my friend. That is not very nice, very nice. Let's go, Dynasty Legacy. There we go, side by side. Celebrate other cultures' decisions. Hmm. What does that do? Where's that? Okay, what if I do that? That is a uh, vassal levy contribution. That is huge. So, Southpine, Sicilian, and Lombard. These are the other cultures within my. Ooh. That's pretty big, actually. Especially that. I mean, not prestige, not as much, but the vassal levy contribution is only 10 years, though. But that's still pretty powerful. Hope it's not swayed and whoa 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 whoa. My Vratislav has just killed Oh maybe he just killed my friend. My silence has a price, honestly. I'm kind of happy to take that. Pay me gold and uh Oh how did that what? What what are you what are you calling me? That is too much, but you know what? I had to just ask him for gold and just give up on trying to... Uh, yeah, we're just going to have to give up on asking. I'm trying to get him back into the fold. Let's just instead invest this some more into our lands. Let's get some hound pens here in Spoleto. Can't afford anything anywhere else, but we'll be able to just now. My friend died, which, yeah. Let's get some levying grounds. Get everything level 3 now. Let's really kick up that... Let's get that development growth ticking up as well. Development 25, which isn't that much, actually. Let's get the man houses. Look at that. Our income is going to go through the roof. Farewell, my brother. I'm an eco reveler now. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, what actually I probably should do is invest in some men at arms while I can. Well, just about. And we are in terms of research. We should be getting fairly close to the next couple of things. We're looking. We're going to get chronicle writing. We're going towards... Arch saddle to get armored horsemen in four years time. Get in, and I think maybe go hereditary rule and yeah, that'll be us. And we're getting close. We're getting close to getting the high medieval. Only need two more, and we are going to get more. But yeah, we are getting there. We are getting there. And the ooh, oh, Byzantine civil war. I thought it was an Abbasid civil war for a second. You know, not to be yet. Yeah, it's just always on fire. We could actually uh, maybe go for a little. A little quick Byzantine war. Maybe get Otrano um, Leche under our rule. That could be worth it actually. But let's get our money up a little bit. Only 10,000 troops actually. We really. We are really starting. Ooh. 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 What has happened? He died. The King Gosselin of Lothringia died of old age. And that split his realm. Now his Queen Helviva tell you what can I where's my son and heir don't tell me I've already married him off and that could be burgundy straight up easy GG although we could get bad mm, I can't be I cannot be marrying my player heir off to a baron woman I can't be doing that because we need to keep our legacy going oh that could have been such a good way to get so many more extra men Showing the Gero at once, yeah, sure. So with generous gifts, let's get some more pikemen. Let's really start stacking them. Because let's be honest, we're playing in Italy, and even in the Balkans, potentially in Greece as well. And pikemen in the hills and the mountains are going to be very, very strong. It's just against the Abbasids on these plains that we're going to get torn apart by their heavy, by their regional heavy infantry. Twenty-five thousand men. That's gone down a lot. Inspiration realizes this, and what is it? A Goblet, which has been now illustrious, yes. Perks in it aren't great. I will admit they're not great. Um, trinket, wait, is that? It's not even. It's not. Sure, we'll put it there. Illustrious pedestal item. It's stinky, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, let's go for a little bit longer. Um, Bulgaria, we're gonna have to go to war with you soon. Um, Bavaria, we're going to have to go to war with you soon. You're still not dead yet. We've got oh, 10,000 men. Caspian Steppe, ooh. 
take a Russian. Okay, so the Russians are getting um, this empire. That's huge. We'll see how that affects. Saying that, Ruthenia is Khazarite. Kvash. Um, Novgorod, how are you? You are Lukian Slavyansky. Yeah, everything is <laughs> everything is a mess. Let's just let's just not look over anywhere. Let's just stick stick to ourselves and just what we're doing. We are expanding our borders. May I go after some Burgund Burgundian land? I don't suppose I'll be able to invite any claimants yet. I may be able to. No, you're Lothringia. No, no one who's landed. Thank you. Or Duchess already. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, come on. I've arrived at court. Ooh. Ooh. You're Dutch. I don't suppose we could, uh... This is too good of an opportunity. I know it's not de jure Italian, but... This is so. This is just. A, this is a powerful vassal. This is a, so many levies and so much uh, potential tax that we could get. That we will need every man and every penny if we're going to go to war with the Abbasids. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! There is a new caliph. There's Caliph Abdul Latif the Fourth Ibn Aisha of the Abbasid Empire. Ooh. Okay. A lot is. It's a lot is happening, but you know what? Let's go for Burgundy. Let's wait until maybe January, February time. Get a couple more ticks of money. You are going to be, yeah, you know what? We just need to go now. Let's go for you. You will gain it, but you will be, you'll spend the knee because you are at my court. I thought it should be how it works. I'm hoping so. We've got the prestige. Let's march to Burgundy. Let's intervene once more in the Carling politics of Western Europe, of the old Carolingian Empire, the old Holy Roman Empire. Let's intervene once again. Now Nice, we need to station besiegers here. I'm going to just try and siege all of this down. Oh, so serve me sure. Whatever. We're just going to station besiegers. Move on to Doulon. Hopefully it won't take too long. Ah, there is a big oh, there's the army. We're gonna have to we'll start fight that first, but attrition is gonna be horrific in this part of the world. You know, actually, before we do that, let's Oh no 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 Oh my goodness, no 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 Press play. Yeah. You know what you'll be able to do it anyway, you yeah, sure. This army, this can go to Toulon. You stay there and the, this money army up here can go and deal with the Burgundian Royal Army. I think that makes sense. That should be good. They're defending Mount Bush other men. And Enzo comes of age. And he's stinky. Oh, astute intellectual that is. Oh, three, you know what? Three star. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, is it? That's not bad. Let's find you a suitable wife. Princess of Wessex. Ooh. Duchess of Northumbria. Bosonid. Giant woman we could have. Just thinking we were <sighs> carling there. Yeah, yeah. We can get a descendant of Ivar the Boneless. What about the lose prestige? Oh no, you gain prestige. My own close relative, yeah, sure. Sure thing. Have a enjoy your new wife. Yeah, let's get some war score going down here. Yeah, you're gonna. How are you attritioning? We're talking about you getting your some war score. But if we can get Burgundy under our rule, that is huge. That's just so many, just levies and just everything. That is just massive. So so huge. Savoy. Yeah, everything is gonna be pain. I pretend I think that's nowhere's gonna be supply. So let's just chase after the army. I think and just do the best we can. chase after the army and hopefully they can't try and kill our main army our, our besieging armies like this ah uh, we should catch them there we go we're gonna catch them battle of aches 
This is why I want my son to learn French as well, because he'll be very useful for dealing with the Burgundian vassals. Let's get you to Ale. And you've got that siege out on 70% war scores. Nearly got it. Let's get the mangonels going. To there. Hopefully this will be enough to really... Um, hopefully this siege, or at least this siege, 90 percent hopefully the next siege will have it. We send you out, out of, send you out after this army actually, yeah, let's just do that. Hopefully this siege will be done soon, we've got two months left and then Burgundy will be ours. We might snipe Burgundy from, the, from a strong Lothringia, from a, but from a weakened Carl in Western Europe, that'd be huge. Pope's not swayed, yeah, well, that's not happening anytime soon, is it? Michel de... We've got Burgundy, boys. We have got Burgundy. Everybody. Oh, my goodness. Yes. 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 That is ugly. I don't care. That has just been that's so good. That is so, so good. You know what? I think let's hold court to celebrate our winnings. To celebrate our new vassal. Our new ex excursion into Western Europe. Let's hold court and just, yes, 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 yeah, oh, I'm so happy with that. And what is this? King Enyo approaches me. Brother, the people in your realm need the occasional joyous gathering where they can forget their stresses. I'll gladly finance a feast, even if held under your name. And it's for the good for the Adalia. Now, I truly expect a compromise. Ah, uh, gains a favour on me. We'll take it. Okay, we'll proceed with the... Well, that's just paid for that, I suppose. And, ooh, Queen Thedburger, my vassal, strides forward, e clearly eager to hear my response to the petition. My liege, Raiden, is among the great houses of Adalia. Burgundian council should always be heard, my emperor. Excluding the most qualified prominent followers only serves to sow division and mistrust. Hmm. Of course, yeah, increase of feudal levies. Honestly, yeah, I need more levies. That's what I've got you done. But, so, well, you can have council rights, of course. You are queen, but I would expect levies in return. Now, we need a feast. I will have a feast. How much is going to cost too much, isn't it? 250. Okay, I did spend the feast money on on a... What, what, what is it? Um, laminate armor. What armor have I got? Which is better? Flexible mail. Plus 10, plus 2. Oh, this is much better. It's got 19 years left, but this episode's gone really, really well. Look how thick we are looking. Oh, we are looking good. And let's just go down to at any cost. Sell titles. Yeah, we're all right, though. But we are looking good. We've got potential to get 11,800. We're getting stronger. We're getting strong enough to potentially go for the papacy. If we can get the de jure duchy, that will that'll be able to be. That'll be one war. One war. That's why I really want to get that. And then that could... I mean, we will be excommunicated, and that could be horrific. But it could be worth it. We are going to be working towards the Abbasids. That will be at some point. Especially now there's been a succession. Hopefully if any sign of a civil war. Instantly holy war. We're getting Sicily. And then the Byzantines are always in a civil war. Probably could actually go after them fairly soon. But I need to hold a feast. But no. This episode's gone really really well. And I'm really enjoying this series. I really love doing these extended series. And I just love having you along for the ride. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to end this here. If you have enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel. It really does mean the absolute world. We're so close to 200 subscribers. But yeah, your support means everything to me. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one.